All right, well, this circuit was just kicking me in the backside, and um, it's just a 5 volt regulator. That's all this thing is doing. It's a 5 volt regulator. Um, I tested this, I tested this, I tested these, I, I tested this. Everything seems to be okay, yet it still didn't work. Um, this comparator looks at a reference here. So it, it's just pulling it off the 20 volt supply. This Zener does not really do anything. It's kind of a protection device, make sure it never goes above 5.6. Um, but this is what sets the actual voltage, which didn't seem very good. Um, anyway, after searching around, this Q970 is drawn as a Darlington, and what was in there was not a Darlington. It had a pretty low HFE. I looked this part up in the manual, and it's a weird Motorola part. No data sheet to be found. Nowhere on the internet can I find any information on it. And then, to boot, what makes it worse <laughs> is this in the, in the parts list of the, uh, of the manual says, uh, factory selected. So they, I think what they did was they found a part and they sorted it for high HFE. They needed a high HFE to make this work. Now I sort of suspected that maybe this had been worked on at one time. This part number, the one that was in there, does not match anything. So I'm thinking that maybe somebody tried to repair it once, like I did, and uh, couldn't find that replacement transistor because they just aren't available any longer and didn't know enough to fix it and then just gave up on it. I don't know, that's my theory. I'm gonna go with that. Um, so what does this thing do? Well, it's a five volt regulator. And what do five volt regulators these days? You get a three terminal regulator. So what I did was I removed this and I put a three terminal regulator between the input and the output, right? And I needed to add a ground. But yeah, so I just wired something up, made my own little connector, um, put in the 5 volt regulator, and it works great. So I'm not going to look back. I'm just going to go forward. Uh, we got 5 volts, and that's all we need is 5 volts. So yeah, let's go with that. All right, let's turn it on. One, two, three, boom. There we go. We got a trace. Yay. We get a scratchy trace, but we get a trace. So um, yeah, this thing's working fine. Let's put some. Uh, let's put something on the input here and see if it. Uh, See if it knows how to measure anything. Uh, I probably should hook this up differently, but just for now, let's just hook this up. All right, let's put on DC here. Are we seeing something? Oh, there's something. Uh, let's see here, trigger automatic. Uh, trigger position, where's trigger? Secondary for division, oh, that's that thing. Why aren't we triggering? Let's see here, coupling AC. Uh. Oh, there we go. Oh. It's trying to trigger. Uh. Reset auto. Do we have a dirty connection? No. That switches. Okay, why aren't we? Let's try uh, channel two. See if channel two, channel two will uh, will trigger. every once in a while it tries to, oh, here we go here's the trigger level plus uh, okay let's take it out of auto let's put it in manual does trigger once in a while hmm. why won't you trigger why won't you trigger Oh, there it is. Yeah, I knew it was just a matter of flipping the switches. A lot of times when you get an oscilloscope, 
you think it's broken and it's just that it's just mal adjusted that somebody before you just didn't know how to turn all the knobs or you've been turning all the knobs. Um, so yeah, so vertical works. Um, that's channel one. I was fiddling channel two. That didn't do anything, did it? And horizontal works. And horizontal position works. Vertical position works. Let's try channel two. Channel two. Oh, wait a minute. Channel one source. We got channel two. We need to go to channel two here. Uh, all right. Uh, Oh, there it is. There we go. All right. So we are we are good to go. I think this thing works. Uh, might need a calibration, but uh, yeah, I have another working uh, another working oscilloscope. I don't know if I want to buy a knob for it or not. I can get a knob online for about twenty-five dollars, which seems like a lot for a knob, and this one works just fine. So maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll three D print something just for fun. See if I can get that to work, but uh, yeah, I like it. Intensity uh, works, nice bright tube. Focus works. Uh, let's, let's try Alt. You get both traces and Chop. You get both traces. Uh, A plus B. Yeah, everything works fine. Looks good to me. Ship it.